Welcome to Around the House, sponsored by Romac Building Supply. I'm your host, Tom Magruder. If you like today's show, go to AroundTheHouse.tv to sign up for our YouTube channel and our weekly newsletter. In this segment of Around the House, Jarrett Myers is joining us to discuss great southern wood treated lumber. Yes, that's yellow wood, and we're going to discuss all the ins and outs to helping you pick the right treated lumber. Yes, there's multiple types of treated lumber, and Jared's an expert when it comes to that. So with that, I'd like to introduce Jared Myers, the general manager of Great Southern Wood. Good afternoon, Jared. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Don. Thanks for having me. Well, we're so happy to have you. You know, back in the day, treated lumber, you, you would walk into the lumber yard and say, give me treated lumber. Yeah. But today, that's not the case. Uh, Jared, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, Great Southern Wood. Uh, well, Great Southern Wood is, uh, we're in our 49th year, coming up on, on year 50 uh, here in 2020. Uh, we're still a privately held company. Uh, it's a little backstory, it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, our founder uh, was in law school, kind of finishing up law school, got the opportunity to, uh, to kind of run a small treating plant in Alabama on the side, and probably against uh, better judgment by most people, he decided to stop pursuing law and pursue the business. And here we are almost 50 years later, we have 14 plants in 11 states. Uh, we started out with three employees back then. We have uh, nearly 1,300 now. And uh, our plant here in Florida was the fourth of those 14. We're one of the largest production facilities in the company. And we're right here in Sumter County, which a lot of people don't realize. Yep. Uh, we service all the way down to Key West, uh, all the way up north of Jacksonville. Um, if someone had a question about today's show, how can you be contacted, Jared? Probably best uh, via email. It's Florida Sales at Yellowwood, and that's Y E L L A W O O D dot com. Jared, what is treated wood, and how do you treat it? <laughs> uh, I, I could really nerd out here, but I'll, I'll try not Please to. Please keep yeah, it simple. I'll keep it simple. Uh, so, obviously, it was a solution a long, long time ago, tried and true solution to to be able to use lumber outside uh, and outdoor building products so that it's not affected by termite attack or rot or fungal decay. Uh, and the, the general kind of real basic uh, explanation of treating is that these are waterborne preservative systems, and we'll get there in a minute. To your point, there are several now, uh, but they're all waterborne preservative systems down here at Southern Yellow Pine. Uh, we put them in a pressurized cylinder, uh, pretty large. Ours are 104 feet long. Wow. Uh, we, generally speaking, can treat about a truckload of lumber every hour to hour and a half. There's a lot of variability in there. Now you're talking about semi-truck. Semi-truck. Not uh, a small not pickup a, truck. Not a pickup truck. A semi-truck of lumber uh, that, in every hour. About every hour, wow. give or take. Um, and what type of treated wood do you do? Uh, so, <laughs> this used to be a real simple answer, it right? Used it used to be, to be real simple. Well, we just treat and that's it. Yeah. Um, we actually offer, we have four preservative systems at our plant, but there's three primary preservative systems that are still used, especially in this area. Uh, the tried and true method of CCA is still around. That's what you see for fence posts and uh, agricultural use, and then a lot of salt water uh, on either coast. Uh, borate treated lumber, uh, which is common here, that's, that's more of an interior application. Uh, that's for, you can, you'll see it in some trusses, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, and then we also use uh, micronized MCA. Now that's the most popular. Uh, MCA is yellow wood, at least that's what we know is yellow wood, and that's for outdoor building products and uh, that's for decks and walkways and that kind of stuff. And using the right treated lumber is important because it, it can really mess you up. But you know, instead of talking about this treated lumber, I think we're gonna head on over to the Romac show and tell desk. We're gonna look at some of this treated lumber and sort of try to give everyone an understanding of how this treated lumber is used. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Around the House. I'm Don Magruder. We're at the Romac Building Supply Show and Tell Desk with Jared Myers. He's a general manager of Great Southern Wood in Bushnell, Florida, and he's about to tell us about all these great yellow wood project products. Jared, what do we have here? Uh, well, this is uh, kind of the the old the old man in the room in terms of treated lumber. This is the original. This is CCA. Uh, so you know, a long time ago, this is what we used to see, and that was about it. Um, we still treat with CCA on a regular basis, but these days it's, it's somewhat restricted in how you can use it. So most of this, these are two by eights, two by tens. Uh, they're gonna be used for marine applications. And you'll also see some fence posts around this area, horse farms, uh, they're also CCA treated. But the nice thing about this, this is great treating product. It'll last a long time. Yep. Above ground and below ground? Uh, ground contact with this one. So this is a, a, a 0.60 CCA. Again, the, the actual 
term for that for us is saltwater splash. So that's used for like if you go to a pier and you see all the substructure, uh, that's what you're going to see in that application. Okay, now you have this lighter green. What do we have here? Yeah, so this is, this is borate. Uh, this is actually an interior use product. Um, it's, a, it's a soluble treatment. And by that, I mean it's, it is not designed to be used outside to build decks and walkways or anything of the sort. It's actually used for framing. Uh, you can see, you'll actually see this a lot. You'll see some trusses that are manufactured with borate. And the advantage of that is that it gives you the same protection against rot and termites and that kind of stuff. Um, but you just have to make sure that you use it in the interior. And it's also less corrosive on uh, nails. It's absolutely and right. Now, I notice you have a lot of tags on your oh, wood. Yeah. What, oh, yeah. Is this how you identify your all your wood and what type of treating they have? Yes, sir. It sure is. Yep. So this wood can only be used inside. It can't stay outside in rain. What do we have here, Jared? So this, this is by far the most popular choice uh, in this day and age. Now this is an exterior building product. So again, think about your decks and your docks. Uh, and this is, of course, as you can probably see, this is yellow wood. And, and I've actually brought uh, a couple different options here. Now, if, if you'll see, on, notice on this board, this is a standard grade decking board. Got a knot. Got a knot here. Yep. And so it's allowed, that's fine. It's just a grade of lumber. And uh, that's two and a half inches is the allowable size of this knot. Now you can upgrade and you'll see here, Premium decking. Smaller knot. Smaller knot. It's up to an inch and a half what's allowed. Now these have the same retention level. These are treated for ground contact use, uh, which means you can use them in a lot of places. And I want to talk about that. You have ground contact use and above ground contact. That's right. And a lot of people are selling above ground contact yeah. wood, but now above ground contact even has problems if there's water underneath it, does it? it? It's it can be a little misleading if you just go by that name. So the, the general general rule of thumb for us, uh, if we're talking to anybody about these products, uh, is that first off, an above ground product looks the same as ground contact. Yeah. This could be above ground treated. That's why this tag is so important. Uh, these end tags are going to give you retentions, and you can actually see it on this board here. It'll tell you what that retention is, so okay. what that application is for. Now, ground contact itself, especially in Florida. Um, we get a lot of rain. We have a lot of heat. A lot of rain and heat. <laughs> and we're pretty flat down here. Uh -huh. So a lot of your decks are actually built six inches off the ground, 18 inches off the ground. That material, that product, the two by eights, anything that's underneath there, once you frame that in, it's in what we consider a ground contact environment. So okay. in, other, in other words, that product's in moisture. And e even though it's not touching the ground. Even though it's not the, touching the, the ground. The moisture stuff below it can create the same contact. Yep. So I guess when I'm here, and tell me if, if you're going to build a deck, especially low to the ground, you need to make sure you're using ground contact treated. You need to use ground contact. And in this environment, we really would recommend it for, for most projects, especially outdoor projects. Um, if it's critical to the structure, to the performance of the structure, ground contact's required. So there's a number, if, if it's around water, so swimming pools and docks, ground contact's required. You know, lumber's like a sponge, right? Yep. So it's just going to absorb moisture and dissipate. But if it doesn't have a chance to ever really dry out, then you need ground contact material. Now, what do we have here, Jared? So these two are the highest, uh, the highest grades that we offer. Now, okay. these these are C and better products. This is actually That's pretty. Yeah, this is actually a, a two by six bullnose uh, that we've manufactured with a kerf in it. And as you can see on this product, compared to the other two that we showed a minute ago, there are no knots on this material. Uh, the same thing here. This is just decking, and you can flip it to either side. You'll notice there's no knots on it. Right. Uh, you may occasionally see a tiny, tiny little knot, uh, but this is really beautiful product. Uh, it's about as, as high end as, as we get in the lumber world, uh, just to give you that, that really natural, beautiful appearance of lumber without those knots that some people just don't like. Well, I know these are, are decking products, but it's very important to note, you sell all types of treated lumber, from 2 by 4 to 2 by 12 What yeah. lengths, Jared? Uh, anywhere from eight foot all the way up to twenty-four foot. Plus, you have six by sixes and eight by eights. Of course, big timbers. Big and timbers. Yeah. And you treat plywood, and so you anything that can be treated, you can treat it. Jared, what do we have here? So th this is our our yellow wood line of of outdoor fasteners. Now, anybody that's like me has probably been in a, been in a fastener aisle in a hardware store. Uh, it's really hard to determine what you're looking at. There's so many options. So we, I, I see you got stainless here. That's right. We have we offer stainless steel as well as epoxy. And uh, it really was one of those things that came to us. We did a lot of R&D on this and, and put it through the ringer and try to come up with a fastener where you could go into a store and say, man, I'm building a deck. I'm doing an outdoor project. What kind of fastener do I need? Because a lot of people are selecting fasteners that rust out. 
In fact, the fasteners will rust out and fall. The deck will they, fall apart. They sure will. And I know you got a star bit in there in the auger thing, and that star bit is a lot better on screws, isn't the, it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. And uh, the the auger bit's great too. It helps reduce splitting when these are being driven. The the biggest mistake people make on decks, what we see, is they use the wrong fasteners. Yep. Now this is not treated wood. This looks like a, some other type of product. <laughs> what do we have here, Jared? So this is composite decking. So we okay. spent all this time, we're yellow wood, and, and obviously that's our bread and butter. Um, but there are some people that just don't like lumber, don't want lumber. Um, lumber does require some maintenance, and then they don't want to deal with that side of it, so we offer some alternatives. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually offer a full line of AZAC decking and TimberTech decking. This is an AZAC product here, uh, and this is TimberTech here. And I see some beautiful colors. You got a Got a red and light silver and a yeah a dark. lot of a lot of different color options here and these are going to vary in price point and and warranty is going to vary as well. You're going to have some that have 25 year fade and stain warranties. Uh, some of this PVC material, which is this product here, actually has a 50 year fade and stain warranty and a, a lifetime product warranty. I want to go back on treated just real quick. What type of warranties do people have on these treated uh, products? Limited lifetime warranty on most treated products as long as you're using it in the right application. Okay. And then here, what do we have here? And this is actually AZAC PVC trim. So just like we have PVC decking uh, in a variety of colors, we also offer PVC trim, uh, a lot of exterior applications. This is actually a beautiful beadboard product uh, that you'll see. It's, you'll see this with a lot of lumber actually up in, in porches. Uh, so again, just an alternative. If, if lumber's not the way you wanna go, uh, you have a PVC alternative here. Well, you know, if you look at all this, the one thing that comes out is it used to be just this plain treated product and you asked for treated lumber. Yeah. Now you got a, a, a whole bunch of different types. It's very important for someone to ask what you're using the treated lumber for, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely, it's, it's so important. Well, Jarrett Myers from Great Southern Wood, thank you for being our guest today. And one more time, how can you be contacted if someone has a question? Uh, they can email us at floridasales at yellowwood.com. And I wanna thank you for watching around the house today. Be sure to go to AroundTheHouse.tv to sign up for our YouTube channel and our weekly newsletter. Until next time, we will see you Around the House.